And uh, if you have your Bibles, let's open to Genesis 4, verses 7. We're just going to read the scripture. And if you didn't bring your Bible, it's on your screen. And it says, if you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Um, this is a very famous scripture that comes from the book of Genesis. We know it's a story about Cain and Abel and how uh, they came to give a offering to God and how one's offering was not accepted and others offering was accepted and we see that um, Cain comes and he has this jealousy, has this anger towards his brother why his offering was not accepted. And, and God comes to him, he says that, look, if you do the right thing, if you choose to do the right thing, will your offering not be accepted? But if you choose to do the wrong thing, sin is crouching at your door. It's, there's consequences for sin. But even then, once you, there is sin at your door, you still have the power and the choice to rule over it you must rule over and that's what the scripture says and tonight's short topic I want to talk to you about is the power of choice it is the power of choice every single person in this place we make choices right I make choices you make choices you woke up this morning and you made tons of choices most of us we showered that was a choice we made most of us some of us did not shower that is also a choice that we made as we wake up every morning there's tons of choices that we make and it's and it's as you realize it or not but you are every second you're making a choice to do right or to do wrong it is at the power of your fingertips and this is what a gift that Jesus Christ has given us God has given every single person is to be able to make a choice that is the free will that we have every single person you do not need to be a powerful you do not need to be smart to make a right choice or to make a wrong choice choices it comes as just you you just make a choice you don't need to like okay I need to study hard to make a wrong to make a right choice or I need to do bad things to make a wrong choice it does not need any requirements you just simply make a choice Life is a product of decisions and decisions create events. We become today of the choices we made yesterday. And what we become tomorrow is by the choices we make today. Life does not just happen to us. It is all about choices and how we respond to every situation. Many people think that life is just, it happens to us. It's just random, you know. This person has a good life because, you know, they're just lucky. They just was born with a golden spoon in their mouth and they're just born in a paradise and that is their life. Some people believe that, you know, you, some people are just lucky. Some people are just unlucky. It does not come out to be that way. Life, it does not just happen. It is the choices that we make and how we respond to every choice that comes our way. You can be a person that is poor, just as, as poor as it can be. If you make the right choices, you can become great. You can become financially independent. You can be a person who is born in a, in a, in a, in a multi-millionaire family where just everything is there, whatever you need. But with the wrong choices that you make, you can become the poorest person on earth. Isn't that right? So you cannot say, you cannot believe the devil's lie that I am unfortunate today. I do have the circumstances around me because the way I was born, the way I was made, the things that were done to me. No, it is not like that because life is not just what happens. It's, it's the choices that we make and how we respond to those choices. The question I have for you tonight is what choices are you making tonight? Turn to your neighbor and ask him, what choices are you making? Turn to your other neighbor and, and ask him, is it good or bad? And many people feel like, I will not make a choice. I will just not choose anything. 
People think that when it comes to choices, I will just stay on the neutral ground. And it's that, that's not how it works. There is no neutral kingdom. You're either with God or you're without God. And life without God is one life is life with Satan, is life with the devil. So we have to understand and get that clear through our mind that good choices or bad choices, we always choose it. We cannot sit on the fence. We cannot fit, sit on the place where we think I'll just not serve God and I'll just not serve devil. I'll just stay in the middle. It does not happen like that. And the devil always tries to get it to our mind that if you just don't do bad and if you just don't do good, you can just remain in the middle in the neutral count in the neutral ground, but it's not like that. There is no neutral kingdom. There's only a kingdom with God or a kingdom with Satan. Which ones will you choose? The choice is yours. And no one, it is, no one is powerless. No one is uneducated. No one is, um, is unqualified to make a good choice. And also no one is too bad to make a wrong choice. We have the power within ourselves. When God created man, he created them with the power of free will. When he created Adam and Eve, he said, look, you have the, the, the choice to do right or to do evil. The choice is yours. And when man fell, when man made a mistake, God still came to him and said, there is also a chance to be restored back and to do right after you fall. Failure is not failure. Failure is only failure when you choose to stay down. When you choose to get back up, it is all, it's counted as success. When the moment you choose, when you fall, when you make a mistake, the moment you choose to stay down, that, it is, that is when it is called a failure. The Bible says that the righteous man shall fall seven times, but what makes him righteous is that he gets back up. You would think that a sinner, that when he sins, 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 and when he comes back to God and you're like, well, he's a sinner. The, my Bible calls him righteous because he gets back up and he comes to God. So failure is only failure when you choose to stay down. To succeed or to fail, it is a choice. And do not let devil tell you otherwise. If anyone has failed, it's because they have chosen to. They have embraced failure. And failure is a choice just as success is a choice. There, uh, there's three people that I want to uh, sh uh, share with you about. Number one, you guys know all of them, is Michael Jordan. And by acclamation, Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. He's the phenomenal athlete with a unique combination of grace, speed, power, artisticity, and provisional ability, and an unquenchable competitive desire. Jordan single-handedly handed uh, single-handedly redefined the NBA superstar and this is what he said the key to success is to failure and he said I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career I have lost almost 300 games on 26 occasions I have been entrusted to take the game winning shot and I missed I have failed over and over and over again in my life but I did not choose to stay down and that is why I succeed failure is only considered failure when you choose to embrace that you have failed success is when you choose to say you know I messed up I made a bad mistake you know I did not do it right but you choose to get back up when we wake up in the morning we have a choice do I want to spend time with God or do I want to give in to laziness do you want to spend time reading God's word to be able to get to know the Holy Spirit or do I complete to to get to know myself as desires where I just sleep in or I do whatever I want I become sinful man I just you know do whatever I want the choice is yours nobody takes that from you because free will is given to us it's a gift that God has given to each one of us in school I just I just hated questions with just one answer when you have to write it in you know I always loved multiple choices I always love when they give you so many choices and you just get to choose a b or c you know though I don't know what those tests called where they're like um what do they call yeah those ones where I always thought there'd be like 
If it's B now, it cannot be next. A next one cannot be. It has to be C. Or there will be like a pattern. I'll be like, try to spell things out. I just love the multiple choice because it's, it gives you options to do good or to do bad. One letter, explain yourself. I'm like, dang it. <laughs> I do not like to ex give me options. And that is life. Life gives us choices to do right or to do wrong. I've seen so many people who have life ruined and the only thing that they say, well, it's because of what has been done to me. Oh, it's because that this, this person has offended me. This person has robbed me. This person has abused me. Society is just treating me. The government is this. And then they live their life in failure thinking that somebody else dictates how their life is going to be. But success is a choice just as failure is a choice getting to know God more bringing people to church starting your own home group it's not that's something that you need to be qualified for you do not need to have like this doctoral degree to open a home group which we would would like if you have a doctoral degree to open a home group be awesome because most of us we have GEDs here <laughs> it's a joke I graduated <laughs> so you have to make a choice. Do I want to get closer to God with God or do I want to get far back from him? I remember one time I, I, uh, when I had a chance to live in Nigeria to get to, to spend time with Prophet Josh and to learn from him. And one thing that uh, he would always tell us is that, that what separates me from you is the choices I make every day. What separates me from you is the everyday choice that I that I take to spend time with God and that is why God uses me this way whenever there's a time to to do my own thing or to go to to spend time just relaxing or whatever I choose that time to spend with God whenever there's a time wherever I received money he said I chose to give that money away and that's why God has been blessing me whenever there's a time to be to be prideful I made a choice to humble myself whenever there was a time where the pain came into my body I made a choice to tell to myself that I by his stripes I am healed whenever there was a time where I failed I made a choice to get back up and tell to myself I'll be on top and I will not be in the bottom every time that I my hand touched something and it failed I told myself that everything my hand touches will prosper I made these choices and today I am who I am because of the choices I made yesterday and I remember like He's always shared that, look, I, I grew up on, without education. I grew up without this. You know, I, I never took, my prophet Josh, I never, um, he took classes to, to speak English. But today, if you listen to his sermons, there's certain words that are just like, I never knew these words even existed in English dictionary. But it's because the choices that a person has made that resulted into a life that you live today. We are either a success or a failure by the choices that we make today excuses are the language of a proud and a lazy heart excuses are just simply a a, a language of a proud you're just saying that look I, I'm, I'm too good to to try again I, it's it's for somebody else I'm just it's it's not worth doing that again it's not it's not worth doing that and Thomas Edison if you can put up a scripture uh, his picture Edison developed many devices which greatly influenced in the life in the 20th century. Edison is considered one of the most uh, prophetic inventors in history, holding 1,093 U.S. patents to his name. When he was a boy, his teacher told him he was so stupid to learn everything. When he set out on his own, he tried more than 9,000 experiments before he created his first successful light bulb. And this is what he said. He said, I haven't failed. I just found 10,000 ways that won't work. 10,000 ways that won't work. Champions are not crowned because they just desire to be crowned. They are crowned because they have chosen to defeat failure. Champions were never made because they just woke up one day and just had this wishful thinking that look I'm gonna become a champion one day and that's it and just sit back and relax. To succeed and to be a successful person when your relationship with God with with in your as a family man maybe as a married man or maybe to your family to your church to your home group leader you have to have a choice that you make every day as you get up just like when you get up in the morning and it's a choice to make to shower 
the same choice to make to spend time with the Holy Spirit one day with the Holy Spirit that you spend is is a thousand days better than spent without him just that one hour spent in his presence is a thousand days better than spent without him so we have to realize that when we get up every morning we are always presented a choice to do right or to do wrong and that is a choice that is it is with you and that you need to make and life's biggest choice is what you do with Jesus Christ life's biggest choice that you'll ever make is what do you do with Jesus Christ when that time comes to spend time in God's word to be able to get to know him to be able to understand his love for you and how God has created and fashioned you and how he has made you that time the choice that you make to spend time with Jesus is the biggest and the best choice that you can ever make one thing I would always regret and as, as I am now is why couldn't I start my relationship with God earlier? How could I, why couldn't I spend more time with Jesus Christ? Because that is the one thing that always profited me. That's the only thing that never failed me has been concrete and has been put me through the toughest times. Your relationship with Jesus Christ is the biggest and the wisest choice that you will ever make. God chooses what we go through but you choose how you go through it. Yes some some people are not they weren't born into a rich family they weren't maybe born into maybe with a healthy body or with certain disabilities but we the choices that we make results the life that we live today and the life that we live tomorrow and one thing that the Bible always made me to understand that your life does not need to be perfect to make good choices and your life uh, we see in the life of David where David at the toughest times of his life he made the best choice ever we see that the the, the book of Psalm was written when David was being persecuted when David was being backstabbed when David was being uh, sought to kill after being uh, cheated upon being backstabbed by his by his uh, by his best friends and that is the best choices that David has made in his life at the toughest time but also we see when David was being victorious David had everything going for him and and he was a king he was making victories and when everything was also on the top we see that when life is good it also gives opportunity to make wrong choices so we cannot live with this lie that the devil always gives us only if God would heal me I'll, I'll serve him only if God would give me a good paying job I'll tithe only if God would give me you know bring people to church and I'll have oh, my own home group only if God will give me a healthy body then I'll say thank you Jesus for giving me health that is not the case because Bible tells us otherwise we see Job when he was sick when he was when he lost everything he gave God his best he gave God and honor and worship that God deserved and he said God maybe you know I have everything and maybe I lost everything but your name still be praised I might have everything and I might lose it but that will not change my relationship with God and no many people that, that told me you know only if I had you know a car then I'll come to morning prayers only if I had a car I would, I would bring people to church I would just you know witness only if I had more money I would give money to church I would you know give to the needy and do this but that is not the case the choices that you make today will result the life that you'll have tomorrow if you want to have a good life tomorrow you have to make the choices those choices today and it starts right now it starts today with saying God I'll serve you God I'll spend time with you God I'll develop that relationship with you God I'll bring people to church and that is the best life to live with Jesus Christ amen and I just want to give you a few steps to how to make a right choice and how do you know that you are actually making a right choice number one is to think God's word meditate God's word God's word is the best and the the best meditation that you can have for your life many other uh, uh, religions and things you know they talk about staying positive they talk about you know good thinking empty yourselves you know think about the stars or whatever things are up there just all these things but God's word is the most positive and the most powerful thing that you can ever meditate and if you let God's word dominate your mind it will dominate your heart once God's word begins to dominate your heart it will influence your conduct and your behavior you begin to change automatically 
but God's word has to be dominating your mind you have to be thinking God's word constantly it's not something that you come in the morning you just pray or you just read John 3 16 and that's it that's thinking about God's word God's word has to be something that dominates your mind when it begins to dominate your mind it's like it's like food when you begin to take food and you begin to chew it it automatically goes into your stomach same thing with God's word when you begin to think about, about God's word you begin to meditate on it what is the what is God's word saying to me you begin to think about it that's when it begins to enter into your heart once it enters to your heart it begins to change your conduct and your behavior God's word is the best thing that you can meditate because when you fall God's word says that there is forgiveness you can get back up you can have strength it gives encouragement to always to be at your best you know that when you fall it gives you wisdom to how to get back up and how to avoid the same mistakes that you made it gives you uh, knowledge it gives you the understanding of what God loves is for your life and God's word is the best thing that you can meditate upon number two is act act upon it Act upon God's word. In Psalm uh, 119 verses 9 through 11 it says that how can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I have not that I may not sin against you. When you take God's word, when you when you meditate upon and you begin to act upon what God's word is saying, that word will begin to give you power to stay with God, to be able to develop that relationship with Jesus Christ. And acting upon God's word is developing your relationship with Jesus Christ, is to spend time at his feet, knowing from God, hearing God's word. What is God's word saying? You know, we give an opportunity to every single person to come before work to morning prayer here at church. Five o'clock in the morning, the doors are open at church. It is not that we can fill this this church up it is not that we can say oh we're the only church in tri-cities that has morning prayers or we need you to come because we need you to fulfill your christian duties it is because you will prosper we, we're giving you the opportunity that your life is changed we do not get anything from anyone coming to morning prayer here don't believe satan's lies like pastor just wants me here because he needs a, a check mark or I don't know what the pastor wants he just wants me here to for morning prayer we want you here to develop your relationship with God because you need to succeed because God wants to take you to a place where you will not uh, where you will not fall God wants to help you to accomplish your dream to to change people's lives and you cannot do that without the Holy Spirit morning prayers are developed just for one reason so you can become who God wants you to be become to achieve those dreams to become the person of influence in this community rewrite the history of your family be the person with a difference that is why we are challenging every single person develop your relationship with Jesus Christ because you need to succeed give you know your tithing offerings not because the church needs your money but because you need God's blessing upon your life there's so many testimonies where people said as soon as I, I you know I, I started coming to morning prayer I started developing a relationship with Jesus Christ I started giving my life has changed and for us it's like that's what I've been telling you for years I'm not trying to drag you here or to 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 I challenge you to give so, so you can you know make me feel good that is your life changes that your life becomes better and that you are will be on the top and not in the bottom you will be a prosperous person you will be a healthy person you will be a person with a difference amen church and number three is get up when you fall get up when you fall you have to get tired and you have to get mad at that failure you just have to just get mad at it and you have to get up. The reason for your success in life is that there's thousands of people are waiting for you to succeed in life. Why do we have to make the right choices today is because there is somebody out there that is waiting for you to succeed there's somebody out there that is waiting for you to share the, the message of hope there's somebody out there that is waiting for you to pray for them so they, they'll be healed there's certain people that God has designed and God has sent only you that only you will be the one to speak to them in order for their life to be changed 
Prophet Joshua said that I only started to succeed in life only when I realized that there's millions of people that God has sent me to and until I make the right choice those people that God has sent me to they will not succeed. There's certain people that, that are right now I look into, into my life that God has placed me even in my home group. Some of the guys that, that God has entrusted me with, me with and I know one thing that when I get up in the morning, when I spend my time with God, I know I have to make the right choice. I need to succeed. I need to develop the relationship with Jesus Christ because those are the people that God has sent me to. To give encouragement, to pick them up when they fall, to be able to be the inspiration, to be the mentor to them, to be the guide to them. There's some people at the gym that that nobody has witnessed to and God and they're waiting for me to make the right choice hey I'm gonna share my faith today hey when I'm when I'm working out I'm gonna say hey hey do you know Jesus Christ do you, do you know God or maybe somebody who's depressed to offer them love and there's certain people in your school in your gym in your colleges in your workplace that God has sent only you to them and they will not succeed until you make the right choice we do not just want you to, to develop the relationship with Jesus Christ so you can feel good. So, so things, you know, just only good working out for you. There's also a world that is dying and until you succeed, they will not succeed. Right now I'm thinking, you know, uh, some of the people that God has sent me to and I'm just thinking even, even some of the people that moved away in the different states and uh, today I'm still talking to them how during school time, I witnessed them I told them about Jesus Christ and today I was thinking like what if I never spoke to them about God where would their life be now I know one person probably be dead because when I when he came and gave his life to Jesus Christ he was addicted to drugs and as you heard today's testimony where where that's where drugs lead I know there's certain people that when I witness to when I talk to them I know today most of them probably will not be alive there's people there's thousands there are hundreds of people are waiting for you to succeed in life your relationship with God you stepping out in schools to witness to be able in, in your workplace in your colleges to be a person of influence to be the person of light to shine to them to, to share the message of hope is not just so for you there's a world that is dying that needs you to make the right choice we have the powers of choice it is at our fingertip. Nobody tells us what to choose. We have the power of choice. And tonight, this is what I want to encourage you with. Is that a soul is, is more, a price of a soul is more worth than uh, the world. You cannot put a price on a soul. We are made to succeed. We are made to become a successful people with Jesus Christ. Not so we can just feel good, which is, which it comes with that. A blessed life with Jesus Christ is a, is a byproduct where of, of spending time with him. But there's also a people that God has sent you to. Every time we're presented of a choice to do right or to do wrong, we need to always have in mind that if I make the wrong choice, there's somebody's life will be affected but if I make the right choice even if I mess up I choose to get back up somebody's life will be influenced somebody's life will be changed today every single person that is sitting in this pew we're celebrating today we're rejoicing today we're sitting together is because one man has made a choice of open this church and it was our pastor Today many souls are saved. Many people are, are, are given their lives. Even tonight we'll see some people give their life to Jesus Christ. People be healed. People be delivered. You know how many people have been delivered and set free from, from the attacks of the many? Because there's one man that made a choice. When everything was going against them, when people were saying, you shouldn't be opening the church. What are you, what are you talking about? Open an English speaking church. You, you're a Russian man. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't have money, nothing. But he made a choice to do the right thing, what God has asked him to do. And today we're sitting together, we're celebrating and our lives is changed because of one man's choice. How many more lives will be changed and influenced of the choices that you're going to make tonight? of the choices that you will make to spend time with God, of the choices to get up in the morning and say God I'll spend time with you, I'll learn from you, I'll get to know your love because I know that there's somebody there waiting for me to share the gospel of hope, to share about love, to be able to, to share that encouragement. There's a world that is dying and they, there's certain people that will not be changed until you reach out to them. 
We have to live a life and we have to live a life of being a successful people of making the right choices. We are celebrating today because one man's focus was not broken. How many of thousands and how many of hundreds of people will celebrate because of the choice that you will make today? How many people's lives will be healed? How many millionaires? How many businessmen? How many marriages will be saved because of the choice that you will make today to walk with God, to love God, and to love people? How many of you guys have been encouraged tonight? Come on, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. And just, just the three the three uh, the three things we just want to go over again is that one thing is think God's word meditate upon God's word make God's word the standard for your life number two is do what God's word says partner up with the Holy Spirit develop that relationship with God to do what God's word says and number three is to get up when you fall because there is a generation that is waiting for you to succeed amen church